Alright you guys, so I just finished the vlog, but I wanted to leave you guys like a quick little message. So Mike and I are going on a day trip in this vlog, and we have some kids along, so we are experiencing a day with kids, and it was a lot. Kids are so crazy, I can't even believe like how parents do it every single day. I love them so much, they were so much fun, but wow do they make you tired. <laughs> they, they just go, 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 go. So today is a day where we experience kids all day long and we're taking care of them and everything. Um, but out of the respect of the parents, we are not going to be filming their faces or anything. So they aren't really in this video, but we still are going to be bringing you guys along for our day trip. And I guess we can start the vlog now. So let's get started. Morning, you guys. So today Mike and I are going on a little day trip and I figured I would show you guys our little morning routine with the dogs. It's nothing crazy, but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of dog content, of course, because they're not gonna be with us today. So, of course you all want to see the puppy. So here is Yellow, Yellow's home for the week, which is so fun. He's doing really, really good. He's just chilling in his little cubby here, which is just perfect. This is like meant for, I think, a chair and you're supposed to like get your bills done and stuff here, but we made it just like a little dog hut and he loves it. He loves being under things. Um, he just likes having his own little fort. Like he'll go under the table in the living room and he just really likes being under forts and everything. I think it makes him feel really safe. And he is very tired. He is literally just now waking up. Mike went out in the garage, so he was laying on the floor because he loves laying on hard surfaces, which sucks because he has arthritis. So unfortunately, that makes things a little bit worse for him, but he prefers to be on hard floors. <laughs> so he just made his way to his bed while Mike walked out, and he's in the process of kind of waking up. Look at him, he loves this. <laughs> so he's gonna wake up a little bit, we're gonna make our way outside, we'll go potty, and then we will eat. And then he's gonna sleep for the rest of the day, which is his ideal day. Right, Bear? You're so cute, look how freaking cute he is. And the girls are over here getting jealous. We have to keep them penned off because Yellow does not like you two, right? Odie's so interested in Yellow. She just wants to play with him. So she's constantly pawing at the gates because she's just always trying to go over and bark at him and play with him and everything and he just is not having it. We typically take Yellow out first and then um, whenever he's in the yard, I'll bring the girls out and whenever they're like separated in the yards, uh, it's totally fine. Like they don't have any spats. We just keep a close eye on them. Um, but I don't really bring them out together otherwise there's room for Mr. Man being a little bit of a mean big brother, right? <laughs> well, he's getting things started out there. Then I let the girls out. No one is going potty. Yellow's just standing there. Pig's just standing here. Odie's just standing over there. So we're not getting much progress done here. Typically, they usually all just like walk out and go right away. But we're not doing that today. For some reason, no one has to go potty, even though we've held it all night. All right, now Michael's out here trying to get him to go potty. Yellow is still refusing. He's being very stubborn. And <laughs> this is an everyday thing. Stubborn, we should have named you that. Is that good? What kind of face is that? Making a mess, look at this. Always making a mess. He is a very, very messy boy. But he sure is enjoying his breakfast. Odie is over here freaking out. She absolutely wants breakfast. So oatmeal is still on her Frenchie Bulldog puppy food. And I just give her a half a cup in the morning and a half a cup at night. You wanna eat? She loves to eat. She is such a little hog. Are you ready to have your breakfast now, little piggy? So for Piglet, I do about half a scoop, which is a half a cup of Pure Vita, which I highly recommend that, especially if you have Bulldogs, it's the best food. And I think it is turkey and potatoes. Sometimes we switch up the flavors, but I think this is turkey and potatoes. And then I do a little three ounce can, yeah, of Beneful, just to spice things up, make it fun and interesting for her. And this is salmon, which is her favorite flavor, but we have a bunch of different flavors for her, but I just happened to pick salmon today. You ready to eat, little girl? Odie's already done, so she's gonna try and get this. Sit. Good girl. Okay, go ahead. Good girl. And as usual, we have to put on 
something for the girls so there's background noise and we're gonna be gone for a good bit today so I want them to have something playing the whole time for them. So we put Odie in her little pen still. She would be fine because her and Piglet would actually just sleep on the couch but this is just in case. I don't want her to get into anything because she gets into a lot. Pig like didn't do anything bad as a puppy but Odie will chew on anything. She'll rip up anything. She'll go after cords and all that stuff. So we put her in there whenever we're not able to watch her. We typically put on the grand tour for the girls and this should hopefully play the whole time we're gone. Um, so this isn't ne like Netflix. Netflix will only play a few little episodes and then, you know, it stops playing. So luckily this should play the whole entire time. So hopefully it does because I like them to have background noise and this is Mike's like top pick for them. Which, I don't disagree with it. It's good. Pig is probably going to swap between sleeping here with the blanket and then sleeping here on the windowsill, which is her favorite spot. And then we have our camera here so we can watch them all day and make sure everything's good to go. We are going on a little day trip and we are going to Those the- cars gonna make their turn for, it yeah, took them a really long scary. time to make that turn. We are going to the Baltimore Aquarium today. So don't think that it's gonna be the same thing as the OBX Aquarium and, and just like immediately click off. This is going to be totally different. Drastically different. Yeah, we Much love- better. Oh, I don't know about better. You think better? No, I mean that little, the one in OBX is like a cute little thing, but I mean the Baltimore bigger. aquariums. Yeah, probably it's next to Atlanta's might be the best aquarium in the U.S. There's an octopus here, which is so exciting. And um, Mike and I have been here a few times, and we've been here a bunch growing up, and we never vlogged it. So the last time we were here, I was actually daydreaming about vlogging it, and we didn't have a channel or anything. So it was like torturous not being able to do that and now I get to do it today. So once again, I tell you guys this all the time. If you want a channel, just do it. It's so much fun and there's nothing holding you back, so. Did you explain why we're in a bur uh, suburban? Oh, I guess I should tell them. Florida suburban so that we can all go together. Yeah, we're taking a big group today, so this is kind of making Thanks, us- Thanks, Beeb. Yeah, thanks, Beeb. It's kind of making us sad in a way because the, typically whenever we get in one of these, we take the whole family to New York for a cruise. And we're going the complete opposite way. But it's exciting that we're going to the aquarium today. I'm gonna to show you guys around. It's really cool. And then we're probably gonna get lunch at Inner Harbor. There's a cheesecake factory there. And that's typically like the routine. That's what I did a bunch as a kid. And that's what we did whenever we went last. So it's a lot of fun. And it looks like we're about to hit really yes, bad first traffic. First thing in the morning. Cool. You'll love to see it. That's fun. You'll that's exciting. Made it to the Cité. The aquarium is right over there, so we're gonna walk on over and get our aquarium day started. So this is the inner harbor here, and then right there is the aquarium. And this big glass part, we're gonna be in that towards the end, um, and that's where like all the birds are and everything. I think there's monkeys, maybe parrots. It's really cool, and it's pretty empty because it's early in the morning. So there's not many people here, but usually this is packed with people doing picnics and all sorts of stuff. But hopefully the aquarium isn't too packed. It looks like a bunch of people are walking to it though. So we'll see. Yeah, there's a submarine over here, submarine. which I've never been in. Maybe I was as a kid, but I don't remember it. So this is right at the beginning and all the levels, oh my God, that shark is huge. All of the levels just keep going up and up and you like build your experience going up. So there used to be a turtle here that had only three fins. It was like a huge deal. Everyone came just to see it. My cousin just came a few weeks ago and it wasn't here so she asked a worker and unfortunately she passed away. She used to swim around in this little tank here.
not moving. You guys see the swan? <laughs> so we're in the little rainforest area and there's sloths just like hanging around. It's really hard to see him, but he's just chilling in the tree. The aquarium was a success. Now we are going to go find lunch. So I think we're gonna to go to the Cheesecake Factory. We'll see, it's right over here. Um, but we'll see what everybody wants to do. All right, Cheesecake Factory it is. We just had to get some cheesecake. It looks so incredible, all of them, oh my gosh. Very, very successful day, wouldn't you say? Fun day, long day. It was a lot of fun, very long. We are going to head home, let the girls out, let Boogie out, and just give them a bunch of love because they've been alone all day. So we're gonna go hang out with the dogs and uh, I don't know if I'll pull out the camera anymore. Who knows, it'll probably be tomorrow and I'll be like, okay, this is the outro because that's what I typically do. But if we do anything else tonight, I'll film it for you guys. So I won't do the outro just yet. Maybe I can show you guys some more of the dogs. So we're home, we ordered some super unhealthy food for dinner. Um, we are absolutely exhausted, so I wasn't sure if I was gonna like keep doing this until tomorrow or what um, But we're just so tired. I'm just gonna You know shut the vlog off here. So let me show you guys this scrum de lamptious food really quick because It is too yummy not to share. So I think this is gonna be the garlic knots. Oh Yeah, so we get from a place called two brothers and it is so 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 yummy and we get it all the time they have amazing pizza so we got just a cheese pizza oh, look at that bears over here like oh my god that smells good <laughs> and then we got an italian sub their bread is so good here there's the yummy italian sub and then in here this was already eaten, so let's just ignore that, but it's a meatball sub, and then there's another meatball sub in here, and we are just about to devour this food. We already devoured half of the meatball sub. We, as in Yellow and I. It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> so Bear is going to do the outro tonight, I guess. So you wanna say thank you for watching, everyone. It was nice seeing you at the beginning of the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed the aquarium, even though I wasn't there, kinda jealous. I'm just talking for you at this point, but thank you guys for watching. We hope you enjoyed. We are going to eat and just probably go to bed. <laughs> um, I don't know if we mentioned this in the car, but Mike and I aren't ready for kids. We're ready for four-legged kids for a long, long, long time. They're great. They were so good. The kids were so good, but oh my gosh, does it make you exhausted. I don't know how parents freaking do it every single day. <laughs> so props to parents. So thank you guys for watching. We will see you in the next upload. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was a lot of fun and yeah. Bye guys.